All right, and welcome back to another episode of Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. This time around, we're beginning the series that I'm calling the Experiments with the PLL. We're going to be focusing on the VCO and the comparator section of our Dofer A196 phase lock loop module, which we went over kind of the basics last time. But this time, we're going to kind of get better feel for what's going on in these two upper sections and uh, get some oscilloscope views of those and actually get to hear a little bit of what's going on in this module. So to start out with, I thought it would be useful to just hear what is actually coming out of this module before we move forward into anything else. So I'm going to be taking the rectangle out here and I'm going to be patching right into our mixer. So here we go. There we go, that's our basic rectangle waveform from our phase lock loop. We're in the low frequency, as you can see right there, so I'm going to bring it in the high. There's our high frequency VCO, and then I'm going over into mid. There we go. That's a mid frequency oscillator. So let's take a listen to what the offset's going to do for us. Okay, so you can see that it's bringing the frequency up. And so later on, when you're actually integrating this with other external sources via the phase comparator, uh, you can use this to kind of adjust the way that the VCO behaves as well as the frequency of it. It'll make more sense a little bit later as we jump further into it. Now, did we listen to everything? Yes, we did. So I'm going to unpatch it. And now that we've had a listen to what's coming out of there, why don't we have a look at what's coming out of there? So I'm going to take a cable, and I'm going to use a special cable to get us prepared for a little bit later. Um, I'm going to patch out the rectangle out right here. And I'm going to bring this cable over to my oscilloscope. And I'm going to patch it into input one of my oscilloscope. There we go. And if we take a look at our oscilloscope, we should see a little bit of activity over there. And keep in mind, we are in the mid-range. Let me bring down the offset over here. There we go. Now let me bring it up into the, low, uh, the high range so we can get a little more activity over here. There we go. And now I'm going to bring it in low range. I didn't patch my cable all the way in. There we go. Okay, so there we're in low range. And as we can see, a de very definite rectangle wave there. Let's check it out in the high range. There we are, high range. Let's look at mid. We go right in the middle. So it's low, high, mid. So that's what we're actually looking at. Now, why don't we take a listen to that and view it as well at the same time. So I'm going to patch out from our rectangle out here. And I'm going to patch over into input one of our mixer. There we go. And let's take a look at our oscilloscope. I'm going to change the octave range. So right there, I'm in the high range. As you can see in our oscilloscope, our waveform has changed. I'm going to pop over to low. And so that visually represents what we're hearing. Let me adjust the offset so we can see what's actually happening when I do that. You can see there's sort of more of those little rectangles and they're getting closer together. All the way until they get into something like that. And just for fun, let's kind of go the other direction just so we can see it slow back to normal with no offset. So that's with our standard offset control. Okay. Now, I do want to demonstrate one more thing about our rectangle here. Um, you'll note that there's an arrow pointing down here. And if you watch the basics video, uh, 
you got the explanation that this is actually hardwired to input one of our phase comparator here in the middle section. Uh, well, that means that it's actually coming out here as well. So let's actually hear that and see that. So I'm going to unpatch this. This is going to be more important a little bit later. And here we go. I'm going to patch this, make sure I get it all the way in there. There we go. So you can hear that rectangle waveform again. And same rules apply if I move the range here. High range, mid range, high range, offset. Still coming out as it was before. So now that we got that sort of planted in our brains, I got that little seed planted. Uh, I'm going to actually unpatch this cable because there is one more thing that I want to do here before we jump a little bit further. We're going to patch our audio source as well and actually have a listen to that. So let me get the sine wave. We're going to be working with the sine wave from the A110 over here. So in order to do that, I have to get my blue cable. I have these kind of color coded so I can do this without occupying too much time. Here we go. So sine wave out. And I'm going to take this over to our oscilloscope. This is going to go in input number two. So here we go, input two of our oscilloscope. Let's check that out. So there is our sine wave coming out from there. And now if we go back to the center to view our A110, I'm going to patch another cable out of the back of our sine wave here. There we go. I'm going to take that and then I'm going to feed it over into input two which right now is turned all the way down so we can hear that. Let me turn it up. It's going to be a very low rumble just because it's a sine wave. But there we can take a listen to that. Okay, so that's our sine wave. That's our frequency. If I go to my A110 and I bring up the frequency, take a look at our oscilloscope, you can see the frequency has doubled. There you go, again, and so forth all the way to the uppermost frequency. So I'm going to bring that back down. Okay, now I plug this in in this specific way because in a moment we're going to actually patch it into our phase lock loop and get a look at what's actually happening. Uh, but before we do that, I do want to patch from the output over here of our phase comparator. And I'm going to go up to input number one, patch in there. There we go. So now we actually have the rectangle waveform. And uh, for my demonstration, I'm going to actually start in the low range. So there we have a low range rectangle waveform mixed with a sine wave. I'm going to turn my rectangle waveform up a little bit. And you can hear it if I change the range. You can hear they're just kind of there, sort of independent of one another. And if we look at the oscilloscope, we can see that the sine wave is sort of operating on its own. And if I adjust the frequency range of the phase lock loop VCO, it's for the most part independent of the other. That is, neither one affects the other. Okay. So now the fun begins. We go back to the center and we're going to actually start getting the phase comparator to lock onto this signal to our sine wave. So I'm patching in the back of our sine wave cable here, the yellow one, and I'm going to go into input number two, our signal in of our phase comparator, and I'm going to go right in there. And so what's going to happen is the rectangle waveform is going to try to lock onto signal in uh, number two. So there we go. Let's take a look at our oscilloscope. And I, I actually got a little bit better of an understanding by unpatching it. So there they're kind of operating um, distinctly different from one another. And then the moment you patch it, 
you can see that now they're sort of moving in a much more sort of synchronous, not completely synchronous, but kind of a more uh, locked fashion.